The first week of Derek Chauvin's trial for the murder of George Floyd wrapped up in Minneapolis. Aside from opening statements, several people have testified in court, and there will be more people to testify as well in the coming weeks. The Scott is thinking about the silent messages that can be seen in people's body language when they're on the stand. This is what Blanca Cobb, body language expert, and I are talking about this morning. We're talking about body language that you might see in trial witnesses, specific gestures to pay attention to as people testify. Blanca, thank you so much for being with us this morning to talk about this. Now, you watched this trial this past week. Uh, we're talking about body language that can be seen in trial witnesses, but we're not talking about any specific witnesses of this past week. So why is it important to talk about body language language on the witness stand. People have a fascination with trial witnesses and court cases, and people want to know, is the witness telling the truth? A lot of times people will rely on reading body language, and if you're going to rely on body language, it's important to know exactly what you're looking for, because some of the body language that you're seeing are signs of distress, they're signs of nervousness, they're signs of tension. Now, if someone sounds calm, what body language signs could reveal that they're nervous? A lot of common ones is they might swivel in the chair that they're sitting in, or sometimes they will play with their jewelry or fiddle with their clothes. But something that you may not see as much, but yet it does happen, is that people will show anxiety in their mouth. For example, they might push their cheek out with their tongue. It looks something like this as they're talking it's a way to release some tension so what's more important is to figure out when they're showing the nervousness what question is asked and where in their answer are they starting to show this anxiety now what body language can undermine what trial witnesses are saying their shoulders when someone gives a shoulder shrug in their testimony, unless they're saying they don't know, they're not sure, or they don't remember, it can undermine their credibility because what it's showing is that they're not committed to their answer. There's some uncertainty there. That's why people shrug their shoulders, and it could possibly open up to more questioning or some doubts for the juror. All good information there. Certainly interesting. Thanks again, Blanca, for joining us this morning. And you can continue the conversation with Blanca on our Facebook page, Blanca Ka, Body Language Expert.